today's video we are going to learn about important options in CapCut that can really help you with your project if you use this option it will make advanced level of editing easier especially the color oscilloscope make sure to watch the whole video to learn everything that's important for the advanced level so for the first option that is audio where you can add sound effect and music to your project and the next is the text option which is very important for any project whatever it's simple or advanced auto caption come first and very useful option is text template that makes your project look really good so you need to explore all and use into your project next option is the sticker option so that is really fantastic uh, there's a lot of stickers and a lot of motion graphics here you can easily search and use into your project so next one is effect option that is most important for editing your video so there are two type of effect first one is the video effect and second is body effect that you can apply to make things or your video look cool after that there are transition here are lots of different transition to move between scenes in your video so as next is the filter which, which helps with color grading in your project it's a quick way to change the overall look finally there's the adjustment feature it's ensure that your video looks good on your timeline and you can apply colors to it using adjustment layer like here i add an adjustment layer on top of a video it ensures that the color grading effect not applied into your video like here i add an adjustment layer on top of the video i lowered the temperature a little bit and increase the hue and decrease the saturation now look if i move this layer a little further here you need to notice the effect not apply on the video below it's only apply on the adjustment layer the advantage of the adjustment layer is that if you are working for a permanent client or for a brand you can work on the color grading ones and save it as a preset and after that you can use for your next project like just click and drag onto your project and you can easily color grade of your video if i showed you the adjustment layer i already saved i need to go to adjustment then preset so the preset will be shown here with the same name as you have given it this saves you a lot of time and you only have to do color grading with one click for all the similar video that means you can apply it with just one click the next very important option is compound clip compound clip has a lot of benefits so to see what it does we first apply an effect to our video let apply edge glow now i want this edge glow not on this clip but only on a sticker icon or text that i need to have above of the video so for that i will go to the sticker here okay and search by typing money from here this dollar motion graphic which is my favorite now i want to add here top of the video now i want this effect to be applied only on this icon like on this sticker of the dollar uh, before our next move as you already know for freely moving in the timeline or solving the cap cut lagging issue you need to go to modify and turn on the free layer and after turning on the free layer you need to go on next step and turning on the proxy from here you have to click on the proxy and use 720 or 540p after that you need to click on these three lines click here and you need to make sure the quality is performance parity it saved the 80 percent of lagging problem but if you want to solve this problem 100 percent then there is one more step which i will tell you at the end of this video so now let's focus on that like i want the edge glow to be applied only on these icons so for that we have to convert it to the compound clip it means that if you apply any effect on a single text or a single icon or sticker it's possible so just select both effect and the sticker and make a compound clip so now as you see it's only on the sticker like the edge glow effect only on the sticker not below the video similarly an other very important use of the compound clip is that we use it to mask twice on the same layer let me show you with an example as i clicked on this video and clicked on the mask from here i applied this mask to it now if i want to apply the mask again i don't be able to do that like i i cannot apply the mask again at this layer 
so what i need to do simply i need to convert this into compound clip so for that need to right click and convert it to the compound clip and now i am going to apply a mask to it again as you see so now i applied circle mask so the mask easily applied now i applied two masks on the one layer so it's possible only with the help of compound clip now below of the compound clip we have pre-process option that use if you have a very advanced level of project and your CapCut have lagging issue so you need to select all the timeline and pre-process them the problem you have is solved to a large extent moving on the next option which is the spilt scene this option separate the scene of our video and this is very important option i mean it's cut where scenes change as you see we are changing the scene the cut applied automatically so you can easily add transition how easy and perfect way to do it's very helpful when you working a project like long form video convert into short form content or short form video so for adjustment simply use build scene so it's automatically cut the scene and you don't need to do it yourself so as soon as the scene changes the transition will come and the video looks great so now we back it all and move the next option for example you have a edited video and now if you want to export a specific area so you don't need to export the entire video as here i will click i for in and o for out as i select it and go to export look here after the setting here its duration which we selected with the in and out point and the range option is very similar but it select an area of a clip meaning if you have edited a whole video and if you want to export just one clip so you can easily export without using in and out simply right click on the clip you want to export like and then click on range and then select area by clip it will pick up the clip and you can easily export as many parts as you like now the next important feature is the speed so here we use curve for the smoothness editing and best is in and ease out effect into your video so make sure to explore and use into your video now let's talk about something a bit advanced in color correction so you can easily assess the color in a specific video while working on color correction here what you do then go to the color oscilloscope and turn it on when it's on at the bottom you can see details about the colors there are channels for rgb like red green and blue from the left to right showing the color in your video there's also info about the brightness next here for the graph pay attention to the line if it touch it's mean here color over and skin blowing by paying attention to these visual you can skillfully see how colors are spared throughout your video if colors are well balanced you will see an even distribution but if there's an imbalance it will be noticeable this feature in the CapCut desktop editor is very useful for improving your ability to adjust and enhance colors in your video now the next set of options related to audio enhancement within this category We find features such as loudness normalization, voice reduction and vocal isolation. There are very important tools for audio editing. Additionally, there's an option of a voice changer. Moving forward, you can also fine tune the speed of sound. See here how easy to enhancing the overall sound quality by using CapCut. Moreover, we can design a thumbnail or cover for our video. Select the cover for thumbnail. Once you select, click on the edit. You can choose from various text template or create your own. Arrange the text in a visual appealing manner using the available options and once all adjustment completed, just click on finish. When you export your project, it will be included in the exported project. In summary, the recommended and smooth workflow involves proxy, maintaining performance quality and during the editing phase, selecting specific in and out points to avoid lagging in the CapCut and the most important if you face like CapCut lagging issue, if you have a normal PC, so you can also toggle off the unnecessary layers to ensure smooth editing like once you are edit something and after that you can turn off so that is very helpful and resolve the 100% of the lagging issue by following these steps you can effortlessly undertake advanced level work so hope you guys learned something as always make sure to like the video and i did love to hear your thoughts please share your feedback in the comments below including suggestion for further video topics thank you